Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Terra Nova and today I am bringing you a special custom content showcase um, that is holiday and winter themed. Uh, so yeah, I have a lot of stuff to show you and uh, I am extremely tired because it is the week before finals so I'm going to try to get through it all but please, please understand when I have some derpy moments and I can't find things. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on with this CC showcase and the first thing you may notice is there snow in my game? Yay! For the first snow mod! Alright, so Sim Cookie did make a mod um, similar to the Autumn mod where it changed things in your game to look like winter and um, I'm sure you've heard of this uh, on my channel. I've had it in for a, a week or so now and it's been all over social media with a lot of excitement surrounding it but just everything looks like it's frosted with snow. Um, it does have two versions one that is uh, a lighter dusting of snow on the ground where you still see some patches of dirt here and there and that is the first snow part and then they have the heavy snow which is what I have in right now um, the ground is completely covered in snow alright that is the first thing alright so let's move on see so yeah, I put the walls down hmm what do I want to do first do I want to do I'm gonna do the cast items first so I'm gonna go ahead and open testing cheats on all right and we are going to go ahead and bring my family here into cast and i will kind of tell you a little backstory on them um so if you have seen my ugly to beauty challenge this is the sim i made margie sands unfortunately i got rid of the hair she was wearing but this hair i thought suited her quite nicely it came with the new get together pack but anyways she will be our adult female model our adult male model is Alexander Kingsley, and if that name sounds familiar, it's probably because backwards it's Kinley Alexander, which is my main sim in my Animal Crossing 2.0 game. Um, but I literally took her, plopped her in here, and made her into a guy. That's what he looks like. I think Alexander Kingsley looks quite nice, and I put him in that silly knight costume from Get Together because his last name is Kingsley. So, yeah, so that's him, and then I made my sim self as a child. I have made my sim self before, um, it's my thumbnail on YouTube, but I also, uh, just plopped her into a kid mode. Alright, so that's her, and then I made my brother, my real life brother. Um, his name is not Rowley, uh, but I thought that was a cute name and it kind of suited him, and um, this doesn't look exactly like him. He's actually a teenager now, but I thought it was very cute, and it had a lot of likenesses that he does have in real life. Uh, so yeah, that's my uh, model family. I am going to start with the adult female because I have the most items for her. Um, looking at the numbers, I have 17 women's clothes to show you, and uh, less than 10 in all of the other, for the other three combined. So I apologize, but when I play The Sims, I do tend to focus more on adult women and teenage girls and all that stuff and just more relatable to myself. So that is what I get most of my CC for. And quite honestly, I hate guys in The Sims. I just hate making them. I think it's a lot of work <laughs> and I'm just not as interested in their storyline. So I don't look for CC for them a lot. But anyways, I am rambling. Let's move on. We're going to start in the dress section and I'm going to try to show you these by section just so that I don't miss anything. Um, but when I can, I will try to make like complete outfits to show you. But the first thing I want to show you is this cute little knit dress. It comes in two versions, those with ties and uh, the one without. And both versions have the sleek pattern or the sleek texture that you see here. And they have a knitted, like giant knit pattern. And I think it's really, really cute. I like the giant knit one. This one even has stripes on two of them. Um, but this one also has, as I said, the plain textures and the knit pattern in a range of colors. Uh, so that's the first one, and um, that is by, I can tell you right now, that is by Sentate, and it is the Polina sweater dress, and uh, I have a recoloring of it as well, and that is by, uh, oh, gosh, I can't pronounce this name, Sims Rocuted, I think I butchered that, but uh, they did a really wonderful job. Um, there are three different thumbnails for the retexture, there's this one, which adds more to the shoulder. They all add a little more to the shoulder. And I really like this one because it has a um, smaller, more finely knitted texture. 
but it comes in a huge range of colors. Um, you can even have like these two to me are very springy colors, but then you've got like the darker, more winter holiday ones as well. And then if we get off of this for a second, click on it. All right, so we'll go to the other solid color. This is just a sleek texture and it has the same range of colors that I just showed you. And then my personal favorite out of this set is this one. So it's the same dress, but it has patterns. And uh, just like the other color textures, these could be springy or summery, but as it is a giant sweater dress, essentially, I really like that you could wear these and just brighten up colors for the winter time. Um, but they do have some of the darker ones as well. Like this to me is very fall. You could wear this in the fall or the winter. It's just, I guess, how you wear it. But again, those, I don't want to pronounce their name again, but they were by Sims Rokuted. I don't know. It'll be in the down bar below. I just want to try to identify what things are while I'm doing this. But we'll take that off. Uh, I think there is one, one more dress. Oh, there's two more. All right. So this next one is part of a set of five pieces and um, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, because they don't have their own thumbnail, you have to find the individual item from the base game, and then they have this little custom color swash. But it is an owl sweater set, and uh, there are five pieces, as I said. Two for women, and then one for each girls, boys, and men. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I can't find it on my list right now, I just have too many things on my list, but... Uh, that creator will be listed in the down bar below, but I really like this. I personally just like this color of the sweater in general, and then I have always had an obsession with owls, even before it was fashionable, so uh, this really uh, got my attention. Um, but you could easily do like uh, a full family in sweater attire for their holiday sweatshirts, um, but yeah. Anyways, there's another recolor of this this sweater that I want to show you and it is a Christmas dress and it's knitted you can see the texture and it comes in two different colors the white and the red which is blindingly red um personally it doesn't look too bad on her but I do like the white one the best and I mean who doesn't like a nice knitted sweater right <laughs> but anyways let's see if I can find those those are by Seeger Sims all right so I think yeah, that's everything for dresses. Now we'll move on to the tops for women. There are four different tops I want to show you. Um, let's see if we can find them. This is the first one. It's literally a giant knitted turtleneck. I think it's um, based off of this and they just made the neck a little bigger. Um, but I do really like the giant knit design and texture. And it comes in a range of solid colors, which I think this is my favorite. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be blue, but I can't tell if it's blue or purple. Um, anyways, there are also some striped patterns and some ombre patterns, which I have this purple one on one of my Sims in my Get Together LP. So if you've watched that, you've seen it already. But I do think they're very versatile. It's not just holiday, it's just wintry in general. And you could really have some fun with this in your game. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot to the top. All right, so keep moving down the list here. There are some deer shirts for women. There are two different colors of this. Um, this is just a white one with a deer head holding some ornaments and with the Christmas hat. And then there's a pink one, which uh, has the deer on it as well in a profile form. So I think these would be really cute for like just casual getting ready for the holidays. But I, I prefer to use them for pajama tops. I just think the this shirt that they're based off of is more of a pajama shot, uh, pajama shirt than an everyday wear, but I do really like them. I think I like the white one better. Yeah, I do. All right, anyways, moving on. I think we have to go up now. Yes. Just get rid of that. Shoot back up here. Um, let's see if I can find them. All right, so this is the second or third shirt that I want to show you for women. It is a sweatshirt and it comes in 12 really fun different Christmassy patterns. And this one is by DJ Simmers. And uh, I'll show you some of the patterns here. I really, I think this is my favorite. Just the mittens and the green and the red. And it's very, 
wintry in general and not just Christmassy, but they've got trees and more snowflakes, lots of snowflakes. <laughs> um, and just the ornaments and stuff, I really like it. I think this, this is my favorite right here with the deer on the white background, but I think the sweaters that are made after this design are very versatile. You can have them for every day, you can wear them for athletic, and you can wear them for PJs. Um, which is why I haven't taken the spoopy sweaters out of my game, the Halloween version of this. But, anyways, let's see if we can find the next one. I always have trouble finding it, so I have to go to the sweaters. Um, but it is this one. This is the, uh, base game sweatshirt, and it's just an, another recoloring of this, and this is the second piece in the owl set. It has that same kind of pure white texture, or color, that the dress did, and it's got a little owl on a branch with some candy canes. And if you look closely, you can see the little snow droplets coming down as well. So those are the, um, tops for women. There is one bottom that I want to show you, and I know this bottom has been in other Simmers um, custom content showcases, and I don't want you to feel like I'm copying them, but here they are, the MFS Dahlia leggings. I really like them for like a holiday kind of thing because they are dark, and uh, I like the little white dotted detail from far away. It kind of reminds me of snowflakes. And uh, the best part about them is that they are high-waisted, so you can virtually wear them with anything. Um, some of the shirts that tuck you have to be a little careful with. Um, I can kind of show you. Um, let's go to the bottom. Scroll to the bottom. If you put like a t-shirt on it, it's fine. The little sweater, it's fine. But with a little, like a crop top too or anything shorter would work nicely. But with these that have like the inside <laughs> shirts that tuck in, you have to kind of be careful with it. But personally, I still really think it's a very, very cute even like this combination, just a white sweater with it, is very adorable. Um, anyways, moving on, we have some shoes. Uh, there's one pair of shoes I want to show you. And here they are, the fur cuff boots. Alright, so the boots are actually by... I can find them. I promise I can. I can't find them. Oh, here they are. They are by Natalise, and they come in a range of colors. I like the white and the black the most. Here's the black version. Um, but they do come in blue, green, purple, and brown. So uh, you can have some fur cuff boots for the winter. Um, but there's also some accessories that I want to show you. Um, and one of them is another pair of leggings, or jeggings. Uh, but they can kind of be considered bottoms as well. I have to take her pants off first. Uh, they are a nice pair of skinny jeans. And they come in four different colors. So a lighter wash, um, a dark wash black and like a teal and each of those also comes in a ripped design um these ones are my favorite the black with the ripped i think they're really versatile and it really i use them on a lot of sims right now um but they are just a nice pair of dark jeans with a range of colors that you can pair with any of the nice sweaters um you can even put it with like some of the newer items from get together which i did uh i put it with this one um this is literally what my main sim in my get together LP is wearing these jeans and this top, but it looks good with a lot of different things. Even like a tank top would be nice with it. But anyways, take those off. Um, let me see here. We have some accessories I want to show you. Oh, I wasn't done. Okay, so those are the jeggings. I also found some holiday tights and they do have mustaches. Um, I really like these. They are tights though, so you have to have some kind of bottom over them or like a dress. Um, but anyways, it comes in white with black mustaches, black with white mustaches, um, black hearts, white hearts, and then two other holiday designs. This to me is more wintry. Um, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Christmas on it besides reindeer. But this other one has, I think, a lot more Christmassy things. It's got the trees, the reindeer, and the doves, and the snowflakes, and the mistletoe. But, yeah, those are the leggings I wanted to show you. And then there are just a couple more accessories. This is one of them. This comes in a two-piece set, and it's by Jenny Sims. Um, it's literally just a blob of mistletoe with some leaves. Um, I just think it does have some transparency issues from behind, but from the front it looks fine. And it came with this. Um, this is called Santa's nose. I think it looks more like a reindeer nose, like a Rudolph nose. 
Um, but they don't, they're not horrible. They're not something I would typically wear in game on my Sims. But I think some people like to just go a little more out there with their uh, Sims, especially if they're doing a special cast, uh -huh. Christmas themed. That's something they could use. But I don't know. I know I know there are some antler CC things that you can get that might look good with the nose. But anyways, those are that set. Let me take that off of her. All right, back up here. Um, to these accessories, I showed you the nose already. There are also two scarves that I want to show you, and this is the first one. It's just a nice little infinity scarf, and it comes in some solid colors, um, some stripey colors, and this one's really cool. But it also has a couple of patterns. Um, that one, and that one, and it's just all black, and I think I'm going to put her in the beige one for now. Uh, this is another two-piece set. Um, the first, obviously, is a scarf, and the second piece is a hat that comes in all the same colors as you can see and they match very nicely um, I will point out that it doesn't necessarily go with every hairstyle I mean you've got some clipping in the back but if you find the right hairstyle I think um, this is a very very cute combo even with this hair it's not too bad but anyways moving on uh, there's another scarf I want to show you and this is it this is uh, oh the the hat and infinity scarf set are by Miss Blue and this one, this muffler scarf, is by Marigold. So it comes in a huge range of colors and patterns and what I want to share um, especially about this scarf is that when I downloaded this because I've had it in my game for quite a while, um, there was only the winter coloring of the scarves available. Uh, since I downloaded it, the creator has come up with a fall version which um, I took a look at when I was preparing for this showcase and I actually think the colors in the fall version look amazing and I prefer them over the winter collection, but they do look a lot more fall. So just fair warning, if you don't care about the season in real life and you want fall colored scarves in your game, just go for it. I think they're really pretty. Um, I'm going through these really slow. But they also have made a version for males and for children. So you, this is my favorite. Um, actually this one just with the, the little design, but they do, as you've seen, have some other lighter colors that you can incorporate with your outfits. But, uh, yeah, anyways, so that is that, and I think, I think that's everything for women, so I'm gonna pop her back in some real clothes, and we will move on to Alexander. Now, Alexander has a whole two things to show us, <laughs> and they are both shirts, uh, so this should be interesting. But the, uh, I think I'm just gonna go to sweaters, that's the easiest way to find them. Um, the, maybe not, long sleeves? Do I have, to, I don't have a regular long sleeve, that's annoying. Alright, we'll just go back to, uh, regular shirts. They are down here a ways, alright. So, the first one, I think, is this one. Yes, alright, so it's this, just kind of loose, long sleeve shirt, and it is the owl piece for men. And it also has like a beigey white kind of color to it. I think most of the set has stuck to that color theme. But it's got the cute little owl on a branch as well and some trees in the other side. And it's got the cute little snow falling just like the women's dress and shirt did. And the second piece, um, this is the alternative, um, <laughs> the alternative sweaters for men. Uh, I just like to call it the oh dear set. <laughs> But it's a recoloring of this tighter long sleeve shirt, but it comes in this, which almost looks like a knitted or crocheted version. Um, but it just says, oh dear, and it has actually three total colors. Um, the next one is an x-ray of a deer, <laughs> which I don't personally get, but it's fun, right? And then my personal favorite is this one. I've got OCD obsessive Christmas disorder. I think this is actually pretty hilarious. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying OCD is funny. It's a very serious disorder. I'm not laughing at it. I know the extent to which OCD can push people. I'm a psych major, I've studied it, but just just for holiday fun and giggles, I think this is pretty, pretty clever. I'll call it that. Um, but anyways, those are our male sweaters. <laughs> All done with that one. Uh, moving on to the boys. Little Rowley. I really like him. I might put him in a game. Um, but he also has a bathrobe. 
Um, okay, so usually when I do CC showcases, I start off with naked sims. They just have the bra and panties on or just the underwear. And then I saw Coffee doing this with her CC showcases. I thought it was brilliant. Like, they're like getting ready to change for us, but we don't have to look at naked sims. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, boys have two things. And, um, let's see if I can find them. Alright, so this is the first one. This one right here, and this actually is available for boys and girls. Uh, but it's just a little winter long sleeve shirt, and there are two with penguins on it, and I think they're so cute. And then there's one with a little snowman dancing. But yeah, there's like really, really good detail on that. And those are by... What are, who are they by? Those are the Christmas sweaters for kids by Pink Zombie Cupcakes. Yep, Pink Zombie Cupcakes. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, moving on, there's one other shirt I want to show you, and it is... This one is the main one, but this is the owl shirt for the boys. And here it is, again, with the cream and the big cartoony owl with the mistletoe. I just think it looks really, really nice. I think the creams and the white just go with the kind of owl designs that this creator decided to choose. And, uh, by the way, the owl set, which is a five-piece set, as I've already mentioned, is by Betty Boop Jade. So, that's who made these. Um, but anyways... Put him in his real clothes. Move back to me. That's me. That's Tara. <laughs> but anyways, there are five things for girls that I want to show you. Um, first of all, though, like, seriously, onesie pajamas. Onesie pajamas. And they're so cool. All right. Those are the, um, oh, shoot. That was a real outfit. Those uh, came with get-together, and I'm freaking out about them. But anyways, moving on down here, we have some dresses. And this is the first, this is a Christmas holiday dress. Um, and it comes in two colors. The first with the red long sleeve beneath and the second with a green knit. I really like the texture of the green and the green color itself, but um, I think for this specific piece, I like the red one better. I just think it goes with the dress a little better. And um, from the same creator, which is Burba32, we have this dress. And it just comes in with like a blue with red detail and a red with blue detail. And you can see it also has some knitting texture beneath. But I think if you plop some Mary Janes and just some nice dark tights, that would be a really cute just holiday dress for girls. Um, but anyways, moving on. I think we have some tops. Pretty sure we have some tops. Alright, so there's this one again. Four girls, same three colors and everything. And then there is... I lied, there's one more dress. <laughs> The owl piece for the young girls is a recoloring of this dress, and it's right here. It has, again, the teal, uh, the teal, that's not teal, that's tan, <laughs> the tan color with the little owl deckle below, and it's just got some snowflakes and again on a branch, but I don't know, this doesn't scream Christmas or winter colors to me, just because of the brightness of the overalls. But I guess out of the colors that they had to choose from, um, it does make the most sense in context with the entire set. But anyways, I think that was five things for girls, right? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Am I missing something? Probably forgetting something. Uh, let me just look at my set. Oh, I know what it is. Shoes. Alright, so if you have seen Get Together, you know that it came with two new boots for girls. And I really like this set, I'm not going to lie, but to be fair, all of the boots that come for girls kind of sit away from the shin um, a little farther than I personally like. So I got these ones. Look how close they are. And I really like the buckle design on them. They come in a variety of different colors that could literally match any outfit. I think this color looks really nice with this dress. If we go and plop some, like... Maybe not gray. Do we have like a cream? Why am I doing this now? I don't know. Alright, just some like brown tights on there. There, see that? That could be a winter outfit that could pass. But they have like a nice leather shine to them. And I just I personally really appreciate the quality boot that we have. And they do, the pants are made to tuck in them. But I don't think it looks quite as nice. Um, just because the pants tend to be wider than the top of the boot, but with like tights and dresses, I think it's really, really nice and they're not sitting, you know, three inches away from the skin. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is everything for Create a Sim. I'm going to put her back in a regular outfit and get back into the game. 
because I have two things to show you from two sets to show you from build mode. So I'll plop in here real quick. I know, I know where I live. All right, so the first, oh, there's my timer. I figured I was gonna be pushing it close for this video, but the first set that I wanna show you is by Severinka and it's a nine piece uh, Christmas set. And everything from her set has this nice little orange brownish border around it. So if you're looking carefully, it's a little easier to find, but the first is a Christmas tree. And I mean, just look at the detail on that tree. It looks real. And then they've got all these cute little stars and ornaments and candy hanging from it. And I think the best part about this tree is it has edible lights. All right, so there's the orange, blue, and yellow lights. And then my personal favorite, there are orange, purple, and green lights. And I'm gonna put those on our tree, but they literally just, they kind of float off, but so do some of the ornaments. And I feel like that's just kind of what things are supposed to do on Christmas trees. They're not supposed to be stuck tight to it. They're supposed to just dangle around it. But anyways, moving on, there are also Christmas gifts, which if I can get my hands on my keyboard, I can make them bigger. It's just a nice variety of colors. Um, I do appreciate the new things that came with the winter pack the free stuff that EA gave us, but those presents do all come in one color and this is just nice for a variety. Um, but there's also a porcelain duck, which if you do not know, a porcelain duck is representative of prosperity and uh, good fortune, and that is in the description of this set. So I thought I'd have to share it because it was apparently important to the creator. Um, next we have candles with mistletoe, and these come in two colors, uh, the red and tan, which these are my favorite, um, but I do like both of them. Um, and this is probably my favorite piece of this set. It is a snow globe, and if you can see really close up, it says Merry Christmas on there. And I'm just gonna jump into live mode and get a close up of this. It's got like a little cottage cabin in the woods that looks like it's made of candy. <laughs> but there's a little snowman on there and a tree, and it's snowing in the snow globe. So I really liked that. I thought the attention to detail on the snow globe alone was absolutely amazing. Um, but moving on, there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces so far. Um, let's see what else we can find. All right, so here's the next piece. Um, I just went to Miscellaneous, and they are Christmas socks. Um, I wonder if I can... All right, so you do have to use Alt to kind of move them into place, and I think I have move objects on too, so that may help. Um, but if you just go snap them to position, they will go through the wall. Um, actually, I wonder. Does that work? That, no, that doesn't work. Alright, I was just being curious about something. But, oh jeez. Alright, so you have to kind of hold Alt down and line them up so they're against the wall. Otherwise, they will float ahead of it or sit behind it. But, uh, it's really cute. They come in four different colors. Um, I'll show them all to you here, if I can get them, and I'll just place them kind of against the wall, but not totally. Uh, but so we have some blue and tan Santa and, uh, snowman ones, and then the same ones, but the snowmen are brown. Over here, the snowmen are tan, so that's essentially the same set, just in different colors. And then this one has uh, snowmen and Santa in a different kind of way. Just a little more festive, green, gold, red, all those different colors. So I'll delete the extra ones. That was one of them. And then the next piece we have is on the wall decorations and it is a wreath. Um, and this wreath, make it bigger, is just like the tree in the amount of detail that went into those. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's amazing. It looks real. Um, and the decorations in the wreath match the ones on the tree. So two, four, six, eight. We have one more piece. Let's see if we can find the last piece of this set. Um, I, I struggle to find things, so I'm just going to type in SV. Um, Savrinka, uh, started every item name in game with SV, so it was easy to find them. Um, so we found the duck, the, oh, it's a painting. So the last piece is a painting, and this is really, really adorable, I think, but I'll make it bigger. 
Um, but I think this size even would look really nice over like a fireplace mantle, just next to a cozy tree and all that stuff. Uh, but the first one is a nice snow covered church and it just reminds me of like Christmas Eve when everyone's trying to gather together. The second is a very warm looking snow covered cabin in the woods. And then the third is another little small house with lights on it. I didn't notice that before, but it's got like little Christmas lights and so does a tree. Um, just a nice Christmasly decorated house. Uh, but yeah, so that's everything from that set. And then once again, that was by Severinka. Um, but the next piece, it's only one piece, but it comes in a nice variety of colors. It is by Darky and uh, Darky Sims 4. And if you look at it, it's literally, that's what it's named, is Darky Christmas Rug. If we plop it down, it's a pretty decent size, if you ask me. And it has a huge range of colors. Look at all those colors. Um, but... It does have some pretty specific holiday uh, labels like Merry Christmas, um, but it's also, there are also some just generic winter ones as well. This one says Santa and, uh, well, here comes Santa, so that's pretty Christmassy, but it's just got like a penguin with Celebrate, so it could literally, literally be used for any kind of holiday. Um, and again, happy holidays. And I really like, some of these it's hard to notice, but some of them have just such detail in the texture they actually look like rugs um even this one you can kind of tell it's got like the the i don't know the seamed edges with the rough inside and uh this one i think is my personal favorite um but there's also one that says noel and this one is pretty cute just some snowmen skating <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna put that back on my favorite one I think that is everything that I wanted to show you today. I apologize if this did get a little long, but I hope you enjoyed the uh, different Christmas and winter holiday kind of CC that I was able to bring you. Um, but anyways, I will put the links to everything and where you can get it in the description below. And you will also see the creator's names for those that I forgot or didn't mention during this video. But anyways, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, and leave a comment. What did you think of this CC showcase? Uh, would you like to see another one? Is there a specific kind of CC you want me to do? Um, but yeah, anyways, I would just love to hear from you. But thank you for watching. My name is Terranova and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye guys.